Danny, many congratulations. You've just won here at Alexander Palace in the William Hill World Darts Championship. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. Oh, ecstatic, man. This is, um, you know, being here for one, everyone uh, w just wants to be here. That's a dream come true. But in, to able to win the first match, playing for the first time is unbelievable. What was it like when you arrived here, saw Alexandra Palace sat on top of this fabulous hill looking over London and then coming into the venue? What's the whole experience been like? Yeah, I was sick to my stomach. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because I, I watch it all the time. So um, and being here and then seeing the, the big William Hill Darts Championship and, and all that, it was uh, it helped out coming the, the previous two nights so I can sink all that in and then be in, in that atmosphere. Did that get rid of the nerves as well, coming in and settling down for a few days? Yeah, it, absolutely. It, it had a lot to do with it. It had a lot to do with it. I was, um, I was still a little nervy on stage. It was... I was a lot nervy on stage. I thought I could control it. I couldn't until the last, uh, I would say, fourth or fifth set. Like you said, Andy was in control of the beginning half of the game. Did you have to say to yourself at the back of the hockey there, come on, I know I can do this? Yeah, yeah. It, there's a point in time in the match where if, if you're down, you know, 2-1 in sets or whatever the case may be, you know, sometimes people do doubt themselves. Like, you know, you're down 2-1, do you want to give up? No, you never want to give up. And um, I felt like I, I found another gear. I, I felt like it was, uh, it was my time after I made it 2-2 and I knew I could do it. We saw from social media you arrived in the UK early and actually signed for a local team to get some practice in. <laughs> yeah. How did that all go and how did that all come about? I tell you, you it, it's unbelievable because back in the, back in the States, it's, it's nothing like uh, over here. You know, I, where I'm from, there's no steel tip leaks. So it's all, it's all electronic and plastic tip. So, what you guys have here is unbelievable and I loved it. Everyone was welcoming. From the moment you won the North American Open, knowing that you were coming here, what's that feeling been like and how have you adapted to all that thinking, I'm going to the biggest showpiece in darts? Uh, leading up to this point, it w it's been uh, an amazing ride, you know, being able to travel a lot more, picking up sponsors and stuff like that. And it's, uh, it's, it's everyone's dream come true. I'm able to play darts um, almost for a living and it's fantastic. How's the CDC tour in America helped your game and darts in America in general? Yeah, CDC tours, uh, I wish we can have one every weekend. <laughs> you know, it's um, the best thing going right now. And if we're able to compete against the high level of Americans on a regular basis, it's going to do nothing but help the game come in here. Has this whet your appetite maybe to try Q School? I will be at Q School. Was that a big decision to make? It was an easy decision. That's nice, and the smile on your face, we can see that you, you love darts. Love it. And we've seen you put in some blistering averages on the CDC. Do you think you can take that game into Q-Store and show everyone how good you are and win your tour card? Uh, yes, I, I don't see why not. You know, I think that uh, if I can, you know, the averages are, are what it is, but, you know, finishing is what is, what's more important. And um, if I can do both at a solid pace, then hopefully I'll be seeing more of you guys. Nathan Aspinall up next. Do you think having played on that stage once already, we'll, we'll see a better version of you in that game? I'm hoping. Uh, I feel like it, it will be. The, that first match was the, the biggest one for me. Uh, I said if I can get past the first match and really settle down the nerves and know what it's like, then uh, why not, you know, I put hashtag shock the world. Why not me?